Hello and welcome. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this video, we want to talk about three things. Worksheet protection, hiding and unhiding cells, and locking and unlocking cells. So we're just going to walk through each of those three concepts. First, worksheet protection. Let's say I've built a workbook that calculates the monthly payment of a loan with these terms. So for example, if we change the loan amount to 75,000, the monthly payment is updated. If we change the interest rate or the years, everything is updated. Now, here's the formula that computes that value. And by the way, if you're not familiar with the PMT or payment function, just use Excel's help file and it'll provide you with information for all of the individual arguments. Now, let's say I wanna make this available to other users. And so I wanna just protect everything. What we can do is we can go to review and then we can select protect sheet. And when we do that, we get a bunch of options for things that we'd like to allow the user to do even when the worksheet is protected. So depending on what you're working on, you wanna review these and check them out. In this case, I'm just gonna accept the defaults and click okay. Now the worksheet is protected. So what does that mean? It means if they go to a cell and they try to type something, they can't. What if they try to type something in these input cells? They can't. What if they want to change the font? They can't. What if they want to change the alignment? They can't. Numbers, so everything's dimmed out and grayed out. Okay, so that's worksheet protection, just kind of locks everything. So now let me go ahead and unprotect this sheet. Okay, now the question is, what if we want to hide this formula from the user? So not only do we want to protect it like we just did, we also want to hide it so that if someone selects that cell, it's not displayed in the formula bar. How do we do that? No problem. We just select the cell and open up the format cells dialog. I just did that with control one, but there are other ways. And we look on this protection tab and we see that there is this hidden checkbox. So we click hidden and then we click OK. And then when we select the cell, we notice that hmm, it's still visible. What's going on? Here's the deal. Let me go back into format cells and look what we have here. We actually have locked and hidden. Now by default, every cell is locked. And you're like, Jeff, what do you mean every cell is locked by default? I've been using Excel for 20 years and I've always been able to type anything I want in any cell. <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing though. These locked and hidden attributes aren't enforced until you apply worksheet protection. In other words, until you protect the worksheet, these attributes are ignored. That's why, even though this is locked, you can make a change here, right? That means any options on this protection tab are only enforced when we've actually protected the sheet. So let's go back here and let me go ahead and click hidden and then click OK. And now watch what happens when I protect the sheet. I click OK. And now we can see that that is hidden. So I can select any of these cells. And if I select a cell with values, the values are displayed in the formula bar. But when I select the formula, it is hidden. That's what it means to have a hidden cell. Now let me go ahead and unprotect the sheet. And now the final step is what about this locked and unlocked? So currently when I protect the sheet and click OK, I'm prevented from making changes in any cells, right? So I can't change anything in these little input cells. So let me go ahead and unprotect the sheet. Let me select these cells. Let's go back into the format cells dialog. And this time I'm going to unlock those. And then I'm going to click OK. Now what we have is once I apply worksheet protection, I'll be able to make changes in these because they've been unlocked and all of the other cells will, are locked and this cell is hidden. So let's go ahead and apply worksheet protection, click OK, and let's see if it worked. I should be able to type something in this cell and that worked. I should be able to change this, it worked, and this, it worked. I should not be able to edit the formula, which I can't, and I shouldn't be able to see the formula, okay? So that's how those things work with each other, hidden, locked, and worksheet protection. Again, the key to this whole thing is that when you go into the format cells dialog, you look at this protection tab, by default, all cells are locked, but that locked attribute is not enforced until you actually apply worksheet protection. Same thing with this hidden attribute, it's not enforced until you apply worksheet protection, okay? And again, when you go to protect the sheet, there's many different options, so depending on what you're working on, definitely feel free to check these out. And these control what things the user can do once the sheet is protected, okay? Hey, Excel user, if you'd like to save some time, be sure to check out the seven time hacks video. This is a collection of seven time-saving techniques I've picked up over the years. Every Excel user should know these. Hey, thanks for joining me. Have a great day.
This video is a production of Excel University. 